Here are the top five things to know about the new Sony ZV-E1. So the first thing to note with the ZV-E1 is actually its sensor. It's going to be sharing the same 12 megapixel 4K sensor from the Sony A7S III, which is an incredible camera. Now the A7S III has best in class dynamic range and ISO performance, so I'm really excited to see that transition into the ZV-E1 when that comes out. The ZV-E1 is rumored to be able to shoot in both 4K 60 and 4K 120 with no crop, which is pretty incredible. That's probably because it's a 12 megapixel 4K sensor with no pixel binning, so that's how it's able to accomplish 4K 60 and 4K 120 without a crop. It's going to be interesting to see if the ZV-E1 struggles with overheating because it's gonna have a smaller body. Only time will tell, we'll just have to see when it comes out. According to Sony Alpha rumors, the ZV-E1 is gonna share a similar body style to the A7C. I much prefer the body design of the A7S III, but the ZV-E1 does seem to be a bit more of a budget option, so it all makes sense. I would be curious to know if the Sony ZV-E1 will have an EVF or not. The Sony A7C that it's based off of does have one, but the Sony ZV-E10 doesn't have one, and this is the predecessor to that one, so we'll just have to wait and see. Now, supposedly, this little camera is gonna have the unrivaled Sony A7R5 AI autofocus, which would be incredible, but I've also seen from other sources that maybe it's gonna be closer to the A7 IV. I almost said S4, that's wrong. The A7 IV's autofocus. Either way, both are amazing, and Sony's been killing it with AF, so I'm sure it'll be great. Now, the price of the ZV-E1 is still a little bit up in the air. It will definitely be cheaper than the Sony A7S III, but how much cheaper, we're not quite sure yet. My guess is that it will be slightly cheaper than the Sony A7 IV, which is 2,500 bucks. I think it'll hover right around $2,000, which will make it very competitive with Lumix S5 Mark II, which is a really nice camera. The Sony ZV-E1 definitely seems to be designed with online content creators in mind, so I'm very curious to try it out upon release. Subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Are you guys excited for the Sony ZV-E1? Will you be picking one up when it comes out? Let me know down below. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, guys. My feet are either wet or cold.